What is going on guys, I'm Crazy Pickle and we are back with another Skyforge guide. Today I'm gonna show you how and what you need in order to play solo from the time you became a junior god. Just keep in mind that for some stuff you will require to use your divine form and there is always a limit how much you can do by playing solo. Alright guys, let's get started. Before we start, last time we stopped at tutorial quest where we need to complete either invasion or trial mission. Easiest way to do that is to complete sudden attack which is the invasion mission. It can appear as a directive in the invasion block or you can open adventure list slash invasion tab and sudden attack mission in the list. Now here are the things you will need in order to play solo. First, you will need at least main damage bonus stat on your equipment. If you haven't watched videos before becoming a junior god where I talk about it while I'm going through provinces myself, I will leave all of the links in the description. You should get 4 gems of power with main slash crit damage bonus stats 100% by completing missions on the yellow road. The only thing that changes on them is value for those stats. Minimum is 8% and maximum is 12%. Note, from the time you acquire all 4 gems of power with main slash crit damage bonus, do not change that later for something else. Only equip same stats but higher value if you got new gems of power. Second, your first new class should be Groovewalker, class temple located in the Pinthen Plateau province and you need 25,000 spark of transformation. You can get 25,000 sparks early. I would say around when you complete province Glaceria, but only if higher player would help you to do extra 4 or 5 group missions for the first time, where you will receive 1250 sparks for the first clear from each mission. Don't worry, if you don't want to ask for help, you will have 25,000 sparks when you complete Mantide Cave mission in the Philomena's province. Third. You need to complete all of the regions to get first clear reward in order of knowledge of enemies. Because you can get 15 minute or 1 hour guide from your tower of knowledge. Sadly it is completely random, so I would not recommend using a lot of knowledge of enemies for this. But it is still an option for you if you want to. So if you haven't done your regions yet, I would advise you to go back and complete them for the first time. Fourth. Always check on your adepts daily, because for some time this is your main source of income for your faith. Faith is required to transform into your divine form. There is a way how to farm faith, but that's gonna be a separate video. Your adepts may not gonna bring a lot of faith in general, but they should bring some that you might have enough to use your divine form once or twice. No, by playing solo you always gonna have to wait for something, like your adepts, or wait daily reset. That way rewards in your directives will move to different blocks and the mission for directives will change for something that you can do maybe even without using divine form. Now you may ask, what is my main goal from the time I became junior god? It's very simple, work on to make your character stronger. By doing directive missions that have followers, trophy boosters, scientific development projects and divine deeds. You want those items appear in squad, group, invasion directive blocks. Region block only works if you have regular region there. There. If you have invaded region, in today's case it is a demon invasion and we have Lenberg Forest as that region, Orthea and Terra. Those three regions are very hard to do that early in the game. If you have about same build as I am, I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now, you can always try it if you want to. But keep in mind, even if it's still doable, it's gonna take you a lot of a lot of time in order to complete the entire region. But that is all you can do by playing solo. Just squads, non-god and group slash invasion slash trials when you can use your divine form. Just quick reminder, don't forget to open your cathedral daily and do not spend credits on your cathedral as well. Knowledge of enemies for your tower I would still recommend to save unless you really want to try to use those 15 minutes and 1 hour gods and not wait for daily reset or when your adepts come back with more faith. Then yeah, feel free to do so. Also victor medals you gotta have to save up 100% as well as Argents and don't spend them at all at the moment. 
when we get to the point where we need to use them for something, I will definitely try to make a video for it. And before you're going to jump in the comment section to ask why all the things I have to do, I'm going to tell you right now. Because of the ketchup system, like I said earlier, you get followers for your cathedral, trophy boosters for your my trophies in your tower and cathedral. And this is why. Because game simply giving you free upgrades for your cathedral, for your tower, for your my trophy boosters, for your temple of deeds as well. Why would you spend resources that you've been gathering all that time when you have something free to use just by playing the game? But that's pretty much all. If you have any other question that I didn't touch during all of the videos I made so far for this current guide, please leave them in the comments section. As always, if you like this video, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and activate notification that you're not going to miss new video I post or when I'm going live. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord server. All links in the description. Until the next time, take care.